Gemini. So this is your weekly love read for April the 1st through the 6th. Um, let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and... Mm. What messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to look at your energy, your partner's energy, and the outcome of the situation. This is for April the 1st through the 6th, 2019. What messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Gemini. Ooh. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April 1st through the 6th, 2019. Messages for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so let's see what we got. Three of Swords here. So there is a severance here. There is some heartbreak. Maybe someone's healing because this is an underlying energy. So you could be healing. Ace of Pentacles over there going towards something new. Okay, then. So let's see what we got going on, Gemini. Could be dealing with the Capricorn here. Some of you guys could be moving away from some toxic situation, moving away from a Capricorn. Um, King of Wands, someone could be focused. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, King and Queen of Wands here. Let me just get these cards out. Okay, someone has a fear of moving toward... Um, a relationship there's a sacrifice that's being made someone's sacrificing suspension yes someone's gaining their independence this is a relationship that is budding someone is burdened by it you're you're removing yourself from king queen male female gemini you are focused on moving forward getting out of this toxic negative low vibration type of place some of you guys are really focused on moving forward and some of you guys are focused on moving forward toward this so there is a severance that is happening someone is heartbreaking you broke somebody's heart or somebody's heart is breaking someone's heart is breaking more than definitely here because there's a sacrifice. Someone's getting out of suspension. So if you've been in suspension with a relationship, with a connection, you got ten of wands, ten of cups. Some of you guys have been in a burdened relationship. Someone is very much focused on moving towards you. Capricorn energy here. Fire sign energy here. A lot of passion moving forward. I just saw two, two, two. So this is most definitely someone moving toward. And two of cups is in the middle of my read. Shit me. Someone's moving toward a relationship. Why is this devil card here? Someone has a lot of temptation as well. This could be sex. So sex could be healing for some of you guys. Revelations, Tower, King of Wands. Woo, woo. King of Wands realizes what makes him happy. There's a revelation. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn that could be um, getting a wake-up call. Getting a, a wake-up. Someone could be getting a wake-up call. Um, really seeing that they need to focus on happiness here, a tower here, a revelation. So someone has a revelation. They're moving away from this fear, negative base type of energy. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, really focused. Ooh, love this card here. Really focused on moving in a new direction. So, yo, this, this Queen of Wands is really like steaming hot. There's been a connection here. Someone is conflicted about a connection. Maybe that's the reason why someone's conflicted because they they want love. They don't want the steaming hot. They do want the steaming hot connection, but they want it with someone that is just as hot for them. So someone is making a decision to no longer wait to cooperate with the universe and move forward. That's eight of wands. Someone's um, no longer cooperating with other people. Hermit. Someone's going within themselves. They went within themselves, going within themselves so they can contemplate about what direction they're moving in. But someone's focused. So King of Wands here. Why is this King of Wands here? This could be sex as well. <laughs> Ooh, why is this King of Wands here? World card here. This King of Wands is transforming. Getting out of suspension, making an offer. Listen. These are two people that are coming together that have come from codependent situations, karmic situations, and are transforming their energy to come together. So this is going to cause a severance. This is going to cause some heartbreak um, because this is, this is someone's leaving. Someone. Um, why is this 10 of wands here? Your partner is very burdened. Um, either worried about coming together, worried about spilling a cup. Because listen, this dude knocked over his cup. So there's a man that is knocking over a cup in order to gain emotional fulfillment. Five of Pentacles may have dealt, and in reverse. So there's some worry here um, about bringing something into fruition. Could be dealing with it of, um, hmm. 
Could be dealing with an earth sign here. Someone's setting boundaries and moving forward. Someone's laying the burdens down. Your partner here is laying the burdens down, knocking over a cup. So yes, male or female, both of you guys are getting out of karmic situations, getting out of low vibration, low negative type of energies here. Sex could have something involved, but it isn't low. This is a king and queen of wands in the highest vibration, both focused on moving forward. Focused. It doesn't necessarily have to be together. Both of them have their passions moving forward, but they're moving forward here. And from what I see, they're tapping into those emotions and really sacrificing whatever. This is a sacrifice of independence. So someone's breaking some hearts by coming together. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is moving forward, setting boundaries here. Could be nurturing herself. Doesn't have to be a Queen of Pentacles, but someone is nurturing herself, letting this burden go. This lack, this codependency, whatever this is, someone's letting this go and they're like, I'm done. Empress here. I'm in my highest vibration. I'm bringing what I desire. Empress, Emperor. Both of you guys are moving away from codependencies. <sighs> both of you. You're both breaking hearts. Wow. So both of you are breaking hearts to be together. This is like two people leaving situations behind to find love within. Yeah, this is a relationship coming together. And I don't think y'all give a damn about who else cares about it. Because you are breaking hearts. Why is this two of cups here? This is healing as well. So, so some of you guys, you aren't breaking hearts, but you're healing by coming together. Why is this two of cups here? This could be a very healing relationship. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, imbalance about a relationship. Someone's moving forward. Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, wanting balance. So there was an imbalanced relationship. Someone's knocking that shit over, seeing clearly that they want to move toward happiness, toward that one that drives them, that passion. Someone has a creative spark. Someone is in love. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here? King of Swords making a decision here. Ace of Cups, shit me. King of Swords is making a decision to focus on emotional fulfillment, to focus on that one cup. Someone feels like they've reached a peak in whatever situation they've dealt with, really wanted to bring balance to the situation. So someone is sacrificing their independence to go into a commitment. Why is this not a pinnacle here? Ten pinnacles under there. Someone's gained their independence from a, a situation that may, be, may have been money-driven. Six of swords moving forward, allowing their ships to come in. Someone's, listen, instead of, of just allowing these ships to come in, somebody is actively pursuing these motherfuckers, meaning someone is moving, they're driving into the ship. they like, this is mine. This is it. This is mine. Making an offer, knight of pinnacles, knight of cups here. A solid offer. This is a solid ass offer. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone may have been holding on to their independence. They're like, I've held on long enough. So, Page of Cups here. Someone's making a sacrifice for someone new. Why is this Page of Cups here? Following their intuition, following that inspiration. That new person is inspiration. This new person. Ooh. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Yes. Six of Wands. Someone's moving forward. This new person is more than definitely a true love energy for you. Ace of Pentacles, a new life for you. Ace of Pentacles as an underlying energy here. So the heartbreak brings a new, um, new life. There's a sacrifice that's being made here. Why is the sacrifice here? Why is the came in here? Why is this came in here? Why is this came in here? Whoo, shit me. Someone is hanging up. They're sacrificing Ten of Cups, a relationship. Um, maybe even a family situation. Whatever the case may be, ten, it was a burden. The Ten of Cups, the emotional, the emotional relationship or the relationship that was in the past was a burden. I got a lot of tens here. So something's ending. There is going to be heartbreak, but something's ending because someone's sacrificing this suspension. Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, because they're in love and they want to make an offer. Someone wants to extend their heart or extend their energy to a new person that has really sparked their interest. Yo, Gemini. Shit. All right. Shit. Whew. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. 
new motherfucking love. Y'all ain't gonna tell me no difference. Some of you guys are flirting right now. Um, you're very attracted to this person. There's a soulmate reconciliation going on here. Well, I'll be. Y'all, I can't got no more words. Y'all have a good day. Peace.